Hello, everybody! <laughs> Welcome to Marketing Gaming today for our 63rd session of Mystical Mishaps. We didn't do this any time before this. Rachel, intro, no. take it away. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Rachel, also known as Pip. You can find my art over on Instagram, Pip400 Arts, also in the Tavern server. I post there too. Um, I You will usually do art streams on Mondays at 3.30 CST. Uh, I will announce if I'm doing it or not uh, this week, just because I have family in town, and, um, like, I'll see, like, how it goes. So, I'll let you know. Um, in this game, I play Eleonora. She is a level 6 warlock, ASMR, and, um, we're, you know, we had hot spring time last okay. week, and that was awesome. Most of y'all. Dev was not invited, which made it way more pleasant, probably. <laughs> Ooh, burn. <laughs> <laughs> she really made the day to be honest. You yourself admitted he'd probably like cannonball it and ruin <laughs> time. Rude. Anyway, so it's nice to relax. It's a good time. The end. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> our second player tonight is Kelly. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I'm Kelly. I play Winnie, the level six monk. Um, and. I don't really have anything else to say. Um, I had a fun time at the hot spring, but I just want to show everyone um, this donut that I bought today. And look Ooh. how nice it looks. Oh, I'm going to eat fancy. it during the session when I'm not. I <laughs> want <laughs> that <laughs> so bad. It's so good. There's that a like, donut place right by my house. It's, it literally, I can just walk there and I get donuts like every uh. week. Because I have like, really good maple bars too. So anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. Anyway, that's all. Just want to show everyone my donut. There it is. <laughs> Our third player is Ashley. Hello, I'm Ashley. Um, I also make art. I might have some art to post on Instagram this week. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm playing Euphemia in this game. She's a human druid. She's having the best time at this Wellspring place that we're at. I don't know how to play her this happy. It's been that fun. <laughs> Wow. She's having a great time. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm, I think she's very excited for what could happen here and what else we can get up to while we're at this beautiful nature-y place. Very exciting. Very exciting. We'll see. We'll see. It's been some calm sessions for a while. And our fourth player tonight is Mike. <laughs> Before voting. Hi, guys. My name is Mike, also known as Bardic Dice, here on all the socials and everywhere. Um, a little under the weather, so just if I say random stuff, that's why. Um, I also stream D and D on uh, Twitch and YouTube. Typically, uh, we are in a bit of a hiatus, and um, hiatus might be extending just a little bit, just because of life and work circumstances. But we'll keep you updated if you want to give us a follow on Twitch and YouTube, and catch any of our uh, previous uh, games that are ongoing. Uh, but today I play a Devril. He is a human artificer blade singer um, who's going through it uh, not being invited to things uh getting beat up and potentially having uh, a line in the sand with his potential robot so it's just a lot going on right now that's fine um but since we're all doing little show and tells about our characters i'm wearing a random kimono and i'm happy about it that's about it back to you it's a pattern on it i can't tell uh there's leaf oh. and Flowers and a butterfly and a moss and mushrooms. Is that okay, fish? basically Am think of Saul Nash's art. <laughs> That's probably yeah. I was, I, was like. I thought I had a bunch of fish on it and I got excited, but I, all those things are cool too. I just wanted to be fish. I think it's That's Critical okay. Role, and I think it's based on um the uh oh my gosh, I'm blanking out the, the furball guy. Anyway, he's all about like mushrooms and forest stuff. So. Okay, cool. I like it. Caduceus. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, go follow Bardic Dice if you haven't already. You can join our Discord that we share with Bardic Dice as well, called The Tavern, and you can post funny gifts during the session in the Mystical Mishaps channel. You can catch up on recaps in there. You can find out about news of what's happening. You can see all of our awesome friends who are members of The Tavern posting their fun stuff in there, like art and funny memes and other things like that. That's a great place. I recommend joining it and being a part of it and waiting for Rachel to catch up on all the Discord channels and bomb you with 100 notifications. It's good times. Uh, guilty. 
a fun ritual. I, <laughs> it is. <laughs> I am Mark. I am the dungeon master here. And I don't really have anything special going on right now. But, you know. Do you have anything to show and tell? Sometimes you just yeah. don't have anything to show and tell. Well, you probably do. Some days you just kind of <laughs> chill and like, I'm enjoying what everyone yeah. else is showing. Your hair is majestic, um, so I mean, it, like a, it is nice. It there is. we go. There we go. A mane of you know. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to bring bit. anything, Mark. You can just be here. That's, that's I guess. great too. Hey, what is that? What is the thing? Like, oh, it's a success when people move in silence. So Mark is just moving. In silence. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that works. Choose your teacher. Uh, but we are not going to have a session next week. Next week we are skipping yeah. the week. But there is still going to be a stream, it sounds like, with Rachel and Kelly doing some Nancy Drewing. Mm. Right? That's the game you're playing? Yes? Yeah. So. It's one of the, the like, dumb ones, too. It's fun. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, <laughs> they get, so, we're all dumb in other ways, but... We'll plan a time. I don't know the time yet. So, so we'll let you guys know. I'll make an event and everything in the Discord, but it'll be Sunday. Yeah, definitely go to the Discord so you can learn about what's going on with that stream while you're missing... Uh, okay. the continued story. But we'll be back. Don't worry. We'll come back. Uh, so, uh, that's about all I gotta say, though, about things going on, so we can just get into our session and see if this gets to be a dramatic or dangerous or some other D-word session. We'll find out. Uh, let's do our intro. Diddaroo. Okay, we are back, friends, and ready to begin our session today. Beginning with our recap. So, uh, they're at a location in Hollow Tide, which is an East Coast city, um, at a it's kind of a sanctuary place called the Main Spring. And Dad spent some time catching up with Kendra, talking to her. First time he's seen her in a while. Uh, and filled her in on most of the things that's happened with the party. There's a few things that he did leave out. But they took some time to relax, train, spend some time in the quiet of the mainspring, and uh, eventually there was some details about Dav's curiosity with Acheral that came out. And Kendra was not a big fan of hearing about that. She definitely had her concerns love the dream <laughs> and more details came out that were omitted from their first conversation while they were at the hot spring uh having girl time and yeah she kind of left and has not been seen since that point but 
that night, as they were all resting, Dav had a dream where he was contacted by seemingly his former mentor, Arizini. Um, and she requested that he return back to the followers of Akaral, and even spoke that Akaral may be with them in some way. left him with the request to come back home and that is where we're going to pick up with our session here as we have all of our redeems coming in mike kelly ashley and rach you all have your advantage to die starting it off thanks turn everything on there uh we have a raise because that seems to be the only one that people redeem recently and a chat blessing, so let's see who gets that. That goes to Ashley. Oh. All right. So real quick, Rachel, I want you to roll yes. me d20, please. Okay. 15. Okay. Sounds good. Everyone else, including Rachel, now as well, give me wake up rolls. Oh man, five. Eleven. Eight. Fifteen. All right. Dav is the first one to wake up. Oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. <laughs> He's just sitting up like pinching himself and thinking. And I'll summon Micam. Hopefully he's still there. He is still there. Buddy. And he just fills in Micam <laughs> on everything that just happened. It's just like gotta get it out. Gotta talk to someone about this. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that means. <sighs> we should probably talk to someone about this. And he just goes, oh, yeah, that's a good call. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna figure this one out. And Dad will just get up for the day and let uh, Micah go for a little fly with instructions. I'm kind of circling the major area to let him know if um, he sees Euphemia or Kendra. Um, okay, give me perception rolls. There. Uh, That's pretty good. Um, was it plus three, right? 30, 20, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. And then he's just going to get ready for the day and, um, I think would be out in the center area already kind of like working on books again. Okay. Like continuing to fix them and stuff like that. And just, he's just like deep in thought. Sounds good. Also, Mark. I can't, I don't know why. I misplaced my beginning notebook, and I have, like, my new notebook. What are the two names of the mentors again? Just so I can have them. Uh, so there's Arizini. And let me get the other one. Okay, yeah, there we go. I keep uh, on putting an R drill, and I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> two tricks. Little tricks, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So yeah, he's just kind of deep in thought, and just kind of trying to focus on the books right now. Okay. So, Eleonora would come uh, to be awake a little bit after that, after Dad started his day, his morning, starting on some books. Okay. So, anything yeah. you're doing I this just... morning, or just hanging out? Getting up. Um... I can't think of anything in particular. Maybe taking a nice stroll for the morning. I don't know, because it's nice outside. Yeah, the weather is pretty decent today. It is sunny. So, yeah, you can stroll around to the mainspring. Um, Euphemia, then you'd wake up. Um, I think I would go hang out at the waterfall for a little while in the morning. And just like 
splash around in the water and meditate and do some other stuff there. And then um, I'll come back and start working on a potion as long as they have plants already there at their um, facility. So the waterfall like plummets way down into the ocean. It's a pretty big fall. Oh, okay. So... I thought there was like a pool at the bottom of it. No, I'll just hang out by it then. <laughs> okay. And just, like, you know around it if if kendra's there i'm not gonna bother her but like i'll pick a different spot to okay. chill uh you do find her there in her normal spot but okay yeah i think i would just like position myself somewhere a little off out of the way where it's not gonna disturb her okay since i liked i saw her doing it and was like that's a good idea i'm gonna try it yes yeah she is sitting there in her normal location Less meditating looking than before, more just kind of sitting, but um, you can head back. And while you were kind of beginning to walk down there, uh, Micah would have probably spotted you and could come back to inform Dav of seeing Euphemia. Did not see Kendra, but... Um... I think Dav would... Just put a little note on Micah's. Actually, no, he's got. Oh, how far away is the, the road? Is the little where Euphemia was from where he is? More than 150 feet. Well, when she leaves her little like housing, she's not very far from you. But to get farther, closer to the waterfall, it's pretty far. Okay. Um. So at this point, when Micah lets her know she's not too far sure she could be kind of up on the main island he's just never done this before he's really excited he points his finger that way and be like you think they can hear me message <laughs> can't trip. message all right let's see if there's a mishap on that <laughs> yeah i don't think he has ever messaged her before yeah. ever it's usually too risky there is no mishap <sighs> you just hear dad's voice Dad? What? I can hear you. Yeah, I probably should continue on that one. And I'll cash it again. <laughs> All right. We yes, asked, I answered. You, no, do I get, you do get a mishap. <laughs> when uh -oh. the spell fails, you don't hear anything. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let me roll for the mishap. I'm going to work on our walkie talkie skills a little better. <laughs> Why is the worst Andrew I've ever chosen as message? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this for this campaign, it's yep. not not it's a like practical. emergency situations only. <laughs> okay. Was safe enough, unless he ruins the book. So yeah, your spell doesn't happen. So like, you say that, yeah. and if Phoebe doesn't hear anything, so you get no response. Uh, I'll try it again. All right, casting again. <laughs> I feel like I've like stopped on the walkway at this point. Like, what is happening right now? No mishap. Uh, just gonna send this once. Just wondering if you want to chat now. I need to talk, but it can wait. This is cool, right? Chill. Uh, you'll hear back. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you do you have if you have time to talk now? I can make time. Like when with the messages, it's like a little bit of static, almost just like those tiny bit of like, it's like sent through like static electricity. Um, Fun. But yeah, so then he would probably wrap up his stuff and then jaunt her down there to chat with her in a bit. Okay. okay. So you're on the main island still, both of you there. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose I wouldn't have wandered that far if, if he was messaging me in the middle of that. He'd probably come and be like, do you want to take a walk? Sure. Yeah, do you want us to do this now, or do you want to wait for everyone else to get up? Go for it. Yeah. Uh, so, you seem like you're like in this area pretty chill. This place is awesome. Yeah. Um, I don't want to like break the bubble for a lot of people, but I ended up having a bit of a dream last night about that girl. Was it something you would consider a nightmare or just a dream? The dream. 
It actually about? felt more like a message from my former mentor. Oh. Like they found you. He at least knows I'm alive. Do you, do you think they found you because you connected with Agarol? Yeah, partially. And then last night I might have. Eleanor had this good advice of like, you know, when she deals with any, he kind of just looks around for like anybody she would deal with. Uh, it's, she says, she was talking about communication and not lying and revealing information made her trust in it more rather than the one words or the unsurety of kind of what I've been dealing with. And so last night I went to bed asking like, hey, buddy, if you want to chat with me or give me some more insight, that'd be nice. And then sure enough, apparently he told her to reach out to me. So you think Akral heard you? Yeah, he looks like he's hiding much more. <laughs> you know well enough that he's like still holding back. Yeah, I feel like she's like waiting for him to say something else. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just telling you because I know you've kind of been like neutral with me and everyone else is pretty against this or warning. Apparently I... they have some contact with him and like she made it sound like he's physically somehow there. I'm wondering if the orb thing yeah. gave him some sort of, or maybe they've been gathering power too that he can now manifest. I don't know. It seems kind of like you invited Akaral to contact you, maybe. I mean, yeah. Which is treacherous territory if we don't know who Akaral is. He did respond with more information. That's the whole point. How... Are you... Are you glad that they know you're alive now? Was that something you wanted? I figured at some point they'd find out. There's enough interaction I've had with the cities and organizations they'd they'd hear about another Akral survivor at some point but I mean either way whether I want to meet them or don't it's still a useful interaction if we want information and want to figure out what they're up to if you still intend to maybe dismantle them at some point, I know that was on your list in Northport, but that was a long time ago. So potentially on the list, for sure. I don't want to just let them blindly do this, but... It's complicated. I, I, I can tell Kendra's much more against it than any of us are. She's concerned because she knows that we don't know what we're dealing with. I think. That's fair. I'm concerned because we don't know what we're dealing with, but that doesn't necessarily mean we ignore it. That's kind of where I'm at. If they're going to do something yeah, that's going to hurt more people, then we need to stop them. For sure. That's my whole point with this. If it's 
if utilizing this stone or even working with Akral goes against protecting people and stopping what happened to me in our city, then what's the point, right? I just, I don't feel like other people get that. Like, you do. You seem to understand how I feel about it. I, um, I understand not feeling like you have many other options. But I also think that this is not something to just try out and see. I think there's more we need to know. Yeah. I'm starting to agree. I haven't told the other two yet. I mean, obviously, I literally just woke up. But might have to have a conversation soon. I think it would be wise. Yeah. When you're when you're ready to bring it up, but I do think we all should know what the stakes are as we find out information. How's your training been? Pretty good. Um, I could tell Kendra's way ahead of me, but I mean, it makes sense. She's putting a lot more time into this. It's really kind of cool to have someone to see where this could go so I have a finish line in, in mind. What you could become? That's exciting. And my brother could have become. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad that we're here and that you, you can have this. Yeah, th- thank you guys. I I really haven't had a door open for me. And I've been so just happy to get things moving forward following you guys. And it never even occurred to me to take time to study. So it's been kind of nice. I'm gonna Maybe feel your bad options. I know waiting, but... Yeah, I mean, we'll get there. There's a way now. Maybe your options aren't as limited as they were before. I mean, I literally have two mentors out there and one training me. Might not be the doors I always expected, but at least there's doors now. I just hope I can trust these guys. I really liked one of them. The other one was distant at best, but time changes people too, so they may not be who you expect. Hopefully for the better. I would hope so. But I just want you to know as much as I'm curious I still agree that if they're going to do bad things, I want to stop them. Maybe that's what I need to tell Kendra. I think you do. I'm glad that that you can put it into words. That is... That's a good thing. Thanks. I kind of needed someone to talk this out with. Sure. Me. I'm happy to. He just gives her a hug. You may know she'll like him. <laughs> she'll acquiesce for for the for the uh, conversation's sake. Thank you for the acquiescence. <laughs> <laughs> like right. stiffly pats him like uh-huh. <laughs> if, really um, fast. <laughs> I'll tell the others, but if you end up have another hot spring or just free time to tell them you you can catch them up. It's okay. It's not like I'm hiding. I just don't. I just want to be the one to tell Kendra because she's very on edge about this more than you guys are. 
I think her, I think her concern comes from care for the most part. I know. Plus, I mean, this was... I'm gonna kind of get it. She... She did all this in the hope that she stopped something bad. Yeah. Can't imagine if she found out it's something good and all those people died because of it. It's not something I'd even accept, let myself think, you know? Well, and with how much she risked before, if it were just to open the door again and wreak havoc, like, all of her work for nothing. Equally distressing. Yeah. I just don't know if she realizes that yet. I'll find out. All right, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it. I know you've been having a lot of fun here. I have, I have a lot of work I can get done, so this is this is a good place for now. You, good luck with your training, and and with Kendra. Thanks. <laughs> Put her hand Ooh. on his shoulder and be like, oh, oh, "You can talk to me it. later if if you oh, need to." Busy. Okay, we'll do. Thanks. And then she'll just kind of scamper off. Probably towards the waterfall now, if I hadn't been there before. Okay. Uh, and eventually, Winnie, you would wake up as well. Anything you want to do as you cool. start your day? Um, uh, I think I would probably, the first thing I would do would, uh, like, wake up and kind of, like, well, first of all, I had a good sleep, right? You said I had, like, and like, I feel really like, peaceful. Did I have, like, a good sleep, yep. or was it? Yep, okay. it was very nice. Cool. Sleep. So, so kind of like, hmm, I'm going kind to of take note. And then I will probably go and do whatever chores I need to do that day first to try and get to read later. So I'm trying to finish as early as possible. Sure. You can do more fishing today? <laughs> I can. I don't know if there's different chores as need done. I could try that. Um, yeah. what, what else did you say? I don't remember what other things there were. Uh, um, there's just general repair work that can be done. There's... I could try that, I think. Like, if I... I don't know. See, look my hand at it. I don't know. Okay. So you start looking for tools to. Yes, yeah, I don't know what skill that is, but I can try. Okay. So, um, Dad, you'd probably see when he get up as well. But yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like just gonna rush in and just try and get everything done. Like, you got this. <laughs> I just, just paddle off by you. Like, morning! <laughs> so, anything else you guys want to do in the morning? Um, I would send a message to Heidi through the stone. Okay. Um, at some point. And I would say, um... Did you get a mishap? It works, though. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Why do I keep getting them with items? That's supposed to be rarer. <laughs> keep getting with these. Should I wait till you roll it? Yeah, let me see what I get. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Um... So I'll say, um, any news in Heaven's Reach? Also, for Julian's hiding place, was it in Heaven's Reach? That's what I want to ask. So you'll hear back, uh, city is still a little chaotic. I was going to give him to somebody I know here in the city, yes. Right. She just seems to be thinking about it. But I'll work on, if it seems like everyone's kind of busy, I'll also 
do my work in the morning. Okay. You're doing your cleaning? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Winnie, as you kind of like go to that shed that had the fishing supplies in it, you also find a little toolbox with some okay. supplies there. Uh, why don't you give me an intelligence roll? <laughs> I'm not very good at those. Okay, we'll see. Um, I, I'm gonna use my reroll. All right. <laughs> I got a three. So we're just doing the same thing I did last time. Sorry, sorry. Much better. Uh, 19 because I have no modifier. So. Okay. So you kind of look at some things, and there's a few points where you're like, I don't know what to do with this, and you walk away. But you eventually find some stuff that you can do some nice little repairs to. Some some nails look like they came loose, and you can. To bring it back up and mm. put it back in place and um okay. there's a beam that you can replace in another location that you notice and, yeah mm -hmm. some kind of general simple simple handiwork that you you find be able to start working on cool okay yeah. i think she has fun with that i think she likes it probably yeah <laughs> it's like little tasks but yeah dab or you feed me anything you want to do in the morning Besides your book things or gardening, um, I would just be planning, hopefully, to make a potion this day for the wellspring. So if I need okay. to go find the plants for it, I can. Yeah. Okay. Or if they're already in the storeroom somewhere, I'll I'll just make sure I know I have what I need. Sure. Why don't you? Yeah, that's easy enough. You could you could find enough to make a potion. That would be my main plan for the day, because that's going to take most of the day. Like, are you actually wanting to brew it, or are you just... Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make one for them to leave there, like I said I would. Perfect. So you start to do that as well. Okay. And Dav, you're just doing your book stuff? Um, yeah, I'd be working on the book stuff, and then if he gets a good headway through that, I think he would just... Kind of like how he normally does his, like, training routines, where he's either, like mock fighting or doing his like poses that's kind of what he's working on just like pre training before anything actual would start yeah so as the day gets closer to lunch while well, the other three are all working on their projects uh Ardril does come and find you in the center Picture. Give me one second. Like the yeah. I had my old picture. He just he just stares at you. He just stares at you. <laughs> staring contest because he's like, okay. I've heard this is part of your training. Over talks first fails. <laughs> I feel like Dad would lose so quick. What, what do you mean whoever talks first <laughs> fails? So, uh, he approaches you, and around the same time, uh, Kindra does show up as well. Morning. Morning. She doesn't really acknowledge you as... She shows up. All right, morning. Are you ready for some training? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So you're in the center of that main island, just kind of going through again, basic motions, uh, following his instructions. He's watching as you both do this. But, um, yeah. Dad, why don't you give me an intelligence roll? Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh. Seventeen. Okay. So still keeping up for the most part. Uh, watching the motions, seeing what uh is happening. It's a pretty productive day for you. Maybe a little distracting with Kendra. 
Yeah, but, <laughs> but do they like spar at all? Because I'm guessing Kindred would totally kick his butt. If, if at this point, sparring. it's just kind of doing your own individual okay. drills. But um, our drill mentions. Well, if you both are up to it, you can face each other if you'd like to. Oh, oh I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure Kindred doesn't want to do that. Um, it's just, just, you know, and someone so far behind a training, right? I just like a side look. Would you rather go against me? Well, that's an impossible task. So, I mean, that's fair. I think they're both kind of impossible. Okay, I don't, I don't know. What, what do you guys want me to do? <laughs> it looks really torn right now. Sure, we'll spark. <laughs> the silent fills it. So, she just kind of looks at you and pulls out her uh, her scimitar. Oh, yeah. Uh, he'll uh, kind of bow weirdly and then activate his gauntlets and cast false life. All right, casting a spell. Got a second level. All righty. You get a mishap. Oh, of course. Spell does work. He says really quickly, if I become a box, just wait for me to turn back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what mishap you get. Okay. Really well. Interesting. So this just kind of like energy as you activate that goes out around you. And we're just kind That's of... Still, spell still work. Spell works, yep. Wait, got 13 temp. Max roll there. But yeah, looks she really just, hesitant, though. <laughs> she just looks angry. <laughs> and as oh boy. uh Ardril kind of steps back to give you all some space, Kendra just leans into you. I beat you. You don't pursue this attack roll stuff anymore. That's not fair. If I beat you, will you at least listen? Do we have a deal that if I beat you, you don't pursue it? You know, technically, pursue could be in the both of four and against them. Just putting that out there. But uh, you I don't like sees like fire and entertain eyes. <laughs> the thought of our acro anymore. I don't know if I can promise that. I can't either. And she gets ready. <laughs> she uh, will activate her blade singing. As you watch as like flames kind of begin to lick up the, the scimitar. There is this ruby that's attached to her scimitar as well that kind of like flashes for a moment. Oh, so cool. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna go well. Roll initiative. Oh boy. Nineteen. Twenty-one. So fucking. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be me. Oh. He's probably like, looking around for like, <laughs> hoping a healer is at least somewhere around here. <laughs> All right, let me double check her abilities. I remember all the stuff she can do. Oh, this is terrifying. It's one thing to fight Ardril, but Kendra, <laughs> good lord. It's personal with Kendra. I know, uh, and he doesn't want to hurt her. All right. So yeah, she starts off with her scimitar. And 
is going to make an attack against you with it. She moves up to you. Um, cool. Ardell did something first. <laughs> she's actually going to cast a spell. Mm -hmm. One you are familiar with as well. A cantrip as she makes this attack. Uh, that is going to be, uh, 25 to hit. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna hit. Okay. Uh, so with that, she will hit you for nine points of slashing damage. And on top of that... He knew he was gonna lose to Kindle, so I couldn't promise that anything. Uh, four points of thunder damage, and you feel that energy shaking around you. I'm going to um, do absorb elements. So when he feels that thunder, the gauntlet kind of goes up a little bit. He takes most of the damage, but the gauntlet kind of absorbs half of the thunder damage. Okay, no mishap on that. Sweet. Yeah, she um, did that third attack. Um, I guess I'll just do that first, yeah. And let's see if there's anything else she can do. Oh, that sounds weird. I'm actually, I don't know if this, um, you already rolled, never mind. I was going to do it at second level instead. I don't know if that makes a difference. For what? It's probably too late. The absorb element. Oh. It's fine. If you want to, I can. It. It's fine. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah. I take advantage of that at the moment. Okay. She is going to bonus action disengage and walk oh. back forty feet from you. <laughs> oh, that's just not cool. That's I taught you that move. <laughs> So she's 40 feet from you right now. As you're shaking in this energy around you. Your turn. Yeah. Yeah, I know how this thing works. <laughs> and then he's going to... You said 40 feet away? Yep. Two feet. Um, he takes out a bottle... Um, because he was thinking all night about different theories. <laughs> he didn't think he'd be fighting Kendra, he'd be fighting Ardrill. Uh, so his first thing, he's gonna take out a bottle, and it's like a neon blue, um, from one of his artificing packs. And then he kind of electrifies it, and will toss it, and I'll cast Fairy Fire on her. Alright. So, deck save? Yeah. Alright, let me roll for your spell. Mishap chance first. You do get a mishap. Spell works though. Ooh, oh boy. We got an extreme one here. Let's see what this one's gonna be. <sighs> I don't like this. Alright. Like I need to roll two times on this chart. Um. Okay, and the second one. Send your aid, fellow blade singer. Send your aid. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. I'm already charmed by her. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Uh, uh, I'm use the reroll. I feel like I should use the reroll. Wisdom saves are never good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll reroll that. I'll reroll that. Okay. Uh, it's worse. No, five. <laughs> oh, no. 
So, as you, like, send this out towards her, there's all of a sudden, like, you feel sort of, I don't know, like, physically you feel better for, like, a second, but then you see, like, a bunch of flashing lights, and you just fall to the ground, <laughs> and you're unconscious, so... <laughs> I don't even think your spell can affect because it's concentration, so like immediately it would be dispelled because of that. <laughs> but... yep. do, do any of us see this? <laughs> or no, I really can't hear you. I can see this happen. <laughs> I don't know if any of you are up there. Uh, you well, could be doing repairs I, if you want to. If you're, I was cleaning in the building, so I'm probably sure. around the area. So I'd you... probably like poke my head out to go look or whatever. You just see a drop in a kitchen. I don't know. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, damn. Is does he look okay? Can I should I go over there? Or does it seem like Everything they're on top just of it? Just kinda of stops for a moment and Kendra walks up, just starts like poking you with the point of her scimitar. And at this point, Dad, like you wake up. Yeah. You fell asleep there for a moment. <laughs> wow, what'd you do? It was a counter spell or something, right? <clears throat> so you lost. What did you do to yourself? <laughs> it was a mishap. I yell from across the building, and then I go back to cleaning. <laughs> yeah, I yielded. That, that's different than a, than defeated. Just putting that out there. Was, yeah. yeah. This Just is why I don't make promises. Bunch of flashing lights all of a sudden. You fell to the ground. I feel got arrested, though. <sighs> Not really. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. I think that spell backfired on me. So you done? Or are we continuing? Oh, yeah. Let's do this again. Okay. So as you say it up, she goes in for an attack. <laughs> <laughs> bonus action! Bonus action! Do I get my bonus action off or no? <laughs> no, he fell asleep on your turn. <laughs> Not fair. <laughs> So yeah, she's gonna go and attack again. Uh, Does that technically mean question rules? Question real quick. Mm -hmm. Absorb elements is not concentration. Do I still have that effect that's holding the extra damage on my next melee? Even as long as the duration is still going, yeah. I mean, the duration was one round, and then it just says also the ne the first time you hit with a melee attack on your oh next turn. Never mind. So, yeah, unfortunately, Just that would eating. be last one round, unfortunately. Yeah. So, that's gone too. <laughs> what a waste. So, she will go ahead and swing at you. Uh, she'll do the same thing because she likes doing that. Let's reset so that up. Good. So no mishap for her. Guys. Of course not. Awesome. And another 25 to hit. <laughs> I rolled the same yep. number. <laughs> Alrighty then. So damage wise, that's six points of slashing damage. And then four points of thunder damage. I won't do anything. Okay. <laughs> and she's going to bonus action disengage and walk 40 feet back from you. <laughs> back at the really? same spot. Alright, that's okay. Cool. What you got? What you got? Uh, she's just standing there like in their dance. Her hair flicking like sparks fly off it as she like spins around to wait for you. Your turn. He looked away because she looks so cool. <laughs> God, looks so cool. <laughs> Uh, he's, he like blushes for a moment and then he'll close his eyes and he'll start doing like just the same motion and blade sing with a bonus action and then he'll hold his action uh, for when she gets in melee range to um, cast booming blade okay so that uses that trick she sees you standing back there Right. 
Uh, she will walk up 10 feet. <laughs> and like swish her scimitar around. And as she does, like she watches her arm glows with like fire fieriness and it extends through the blade and yep. a line of fire shoots from her sword in your direction. I need a deck save from you, please. Rude. Thank God, dude. Uh, three. Okay, you fail. <laughs> Jeez, man. I know it's like narratively like, oh, maybe I'll make him a disadvantage <laughs> one of his attacks because he's having a hard time fighting. No, he's just doing the rolls for me. Uh, 16 points of fire damage. Body. Okay, I'm absorb elements in that one. <laughs> okay. What level? Um. So that was her action. So that would be freed up next move. I'll do. We'll go bigger, go home. Second level on that one. Okay. And I'm at eight. No mess up. <laughs> no mess up. Nice. Okay. And she will She will wait there uh for you. Cool. Your turn. So on his turn, I think. I don't think I have any bonus actions. Um, actually I do. I'll defensive field to get four temporary hit points. Okay. And then I'll go up as he'll run up and close the 30 feet. And he'll kind of do this like swing out with one hand but kind of faint with it and then take a step and then come back with like the right hook instead. Um, and he'll do Booming Blade. All right. That one. Wish I guess I'll miss miss that chance. chance. You get a miss at. Of course. And it fails. Oh, man, buddy. These dice rolls are mean to you. Just... A wound. And this is a fairly strong mishap as well. Let's see what this is going to be. I'll sleep again. <laughs> Hopefully not. There was a chat blessing too, by the way. Oh yeah, so. I'll get that. Sorry, I'm too focused on this fight. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> uh... God, he didn't promise anything. Okay. Sounds good. So that's not gonna play a factor, I don't think, for a little bit, but that's fine. Uh, okay. go ahead and make your attack roll. Or no, I... so that's without booming blade. So right? without the booming blade, I will get these redeemed here while you're doing that. Chat blessing. That's a lot better. That was a natural twenty. Nice. Which is fun because I have two d six sitting there with absorb elements that also gets doubled, right? Or no? Yeah, but uh, she reaction silvery barbs you. Uh, how rude! Silvery barbs her. <laughs> silvery barbs. No. <laughs> silvery barbs don't do nothing against silvery barbs. Ah. Uh. So rude. Um, 18 plus 24. I don't know that one. And she cannot shield because she used a reaction, so go for it. <laughs> this works a little bit. I know that move too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, snow booming blade. No, <laughs> no double day. That would have really hurt with the nat 22 with all of that oh, stuff. Oh, I know. Alright, still gets us 2d6. Still burns. Um, so it's, yeah, it's kind of cool because his gauntlet will hit for the thunder for, um, six points of thunder and then kind of as it hits, it kind of echoes out the uh, remaining fire damage and coming back out. Um, which I think it's fire. Oh, that was a narrative. Let me just double check. Fire what, what she is. shot at you. Yeah. 
Is it the same type, though? I'm pretty sure it's the same type. Or the triggering type. Yeah, so then the fire hits, so she kind of gets hit with her own blast. How much? Or another uh, five. All right, that is reduced to two. Yeah, because she's cool. <laughs> she is a fire element, or yeah, yeah, fire yeah. genasi, so... That was 30, and then he'll back up 20. Okay. So she will move up to you. And she will again, moving blade, attack you. Check for mishap. She's good. Uh, we can get the advantage on each other in this. She has advantage because of silvery barbs. No, I know. I'm just saying whoever can get like the upper hand on the booming blades it mm. makes a big difference. Uh, again, 25 to hit. Cause I keep rolling the same number. Um, yeah. It'll absorb elements. Okay. So you take the hit and the scimitar does nine points of slashing to you. And then the thunder is going to be for four. And she will bonus action. Oh, I forgot. She has advantage too. You take six more on top of that of the set of lashing because she has a sneak attack with being a rogue. Rude. Yeah, six more on top of that. She'll. So Bonus cool. action, disengage, and step back. I see you were 20 away. Mm -hmm. So she'll go 20 back. So you said she bonus action disengaged? Yeah. Okay, okay. And she has 20 back? Yep. Cool. You're got boom energy around you. Yep. <laughs> um. He will bonus action defensive field. Um, just realized I never changed the music I had picked up for this fight either. I think you didn't change Very it because you're like, this is going to be a short. Here fight. we go. I'll That's change the music. <laughs> it's so <Yeah>. relaxing. <laughs> there we go. Um,. I'll change this. It was too chill for this type of a fight. <laughs> so she ended up using a spell on him. He's going to uh, reach out and pull out his diamond and All right. uh, second level cold uh, chromatic orbit her. All right. So second level. You roll for mishap chance. You feel a big spike with that yeah, and a mishap. Spell works. And let me roll for what you get. Double damage on your next attack. <laughs> Plus 10 to your what you already have before, I think. Or somebody, maybe this is Eleanor read this one, but your eyes like feel like they kind of like tweak out a little bit on you for a moment. But yeah, go ahead and make your attack. Uh, it's gonna be close. Uh, I don't think it's gonna hit. No. Uh, oh wait, no, it's not. The six. It's my spells. So it's still six. Okay. I don't think it's gonna hit. It's nineteen. Nineteen misses. <laughs> not cool, man. Not cool. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, really she just cool. dodges out of the way. Has this cold energy blast past her. She charges up 20 feet, booming blade, once more. Yeah. It ain't broken. Don't fix it. Uh, she has her spell work, makes her attack. Uh, 18 to hit. Does not hit. All right. Let's disengage 20 feet back. Uh, he'll run up and. Let's see, lost that. Doesn't need to do anything on that. Um. Yeah, booming blade. All right. Yeah, 
dad was all like, yeah, I'm going to hit her. And then just like, for a moment, it's like anime eyes. Wow, she's so cute. And just totally whips with the one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> all right. So pretty. And she, he probably even hears that, like, so pretty. Dang it. Sorry. Staying in your spot right up next to her? Um. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Actually, no, no, I'll use up her, her distance. Um, so that's 30 back to move 20, right? To move 20 back, so you went 30, so 30 back? Yeah. Okay. Or 20, 20 back, sorry. Okay, she takes an attack of opportunity at you. Because I, I attacked her. You missed, though, right? Even if I missed, oh. right? I guess, yeah, with your mobile. mobile. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. She charges then 30 up to you. Uh, she will take her offhand, and you see lightning just start crackling around it as she like brings it up to your face. Whoa. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> That's a nat 20, too. <laughs> Silver vibes. <laughs> All right. Let me see if your spell works. Um, Not cool. Spell will work. Reroll. It's going to be a 23 to hit still. Yeah. Well, that's... Uh, 10 points of lightning damage. Can't absorb that one. All right. And she will step back 10 feet and then she will dash back. So 30 or 40 more feet so she is 50 feet from you right now and just kind of like holding her blade like swinging it around a little bit she looks real angry too <laughs> yeah i haven't even hit her <laughs> yeah um... chat blessing maybe you'll get this one uh nope it's rage just Eleanor just doing dishes, looking out like, ooh. <laughs> it's just like cleaning a window, and she keeps like, mm hmm. It's in the same window for about two minutes. I rolled the same thing for the Raisin Lower, too. The shiniest window <laughs> ever now. He wants to attack so bad. Um, I'm going to have to cure wounds, so he'll uh, take out a little salve and like activate it and kind of cover up one of his bigger wounds and cast his last second level for cure wounds. All right, second level. Hopefully this goes through. The it does inside. work. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Six, plus five, 11, 14. Okay, so I get 14 back and then whole defensive field. Kind of reset. Because okay. otherwise, I was at five hit points and I was going to go down. <laughs> Oof, yikes. All right, so she's 50 back. She'll move up 20. I'll move back 50. You're moving back 50. I'll move back. Let's see. So 50, I'll move back. Um, she can dash. Yeah, I'll move back 50. Okay, so 100 feet distance. Uh, she will go 40. Bonus action, another 30. And then okay. you watch as flame again licks around her sword as she flips it at you. Another line, deck save from you, please. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, she can do it. Now the natural 20. 22. Okay, so you'll take half damage, Stupid I believe, dice. on this. We'll need uh, a natural 20 on a deck save! Uh, so that ends up being... 14 down to 7 fire. Um... Yeah, let's absorb elements that. I'll be 3 or 4. 7 would be 3 to you. Three. Uh, let me double check though to make sure it works. First level. 
going to do some damage. It does I... work. Okay. Okay, so she is 30 feet from you right now. Cool. I'll rush up on her and cast Moving Blade, because that's what we do. Okay. And of last bonus action defensive field. All right, no. Hold off. I still have some left. Moving Blade first. Let me roll for that. Yeah. Works. Maybe? 23? Gonna shield it. She will shield it. No! And it works. Not there. Uh, <laughs> he just... Uh. <laughs> and then we'll push off and go... What did I say? 30? 30, 30 back up. Feet. Back 20? Okay. Mm -hmm. She once more moves up 20 feet to you. Booming Blade, which works. She makes her attack with it. That's a, again, I rolled the same number again, 25 to hit. I literally yeah. keep rolling the exact same number on this die. So yeah, 25 to hit. Scimitar for 10. Oof. And then Thunder is uh, two. Owie. She'll bonus action disengage and go back 20. Yep. And just going all offensive. Bonus action defensive field. And the last one. Before. And then. Yeah, booming blade. Just okay. Fight of the booms. <laughs> you forget um, to update the meter on the screen. Right now it's high. Funny. It was a 20. But no, it's not. It's 24 again. There is a mishap on this too, but it works still. What'd you roll to hit? 24. 24. She'll shield it. Yep. Cool, cool. <laughs> and it'll just. He just kind of stands there. Uh, and he'll. He's you not moving back. He's just gonna go no. So yeah. demoralized, you lose your proficiency bonus again. <laughs> <laughs> so rude. <laughs> Perfect. He just sits there. All right. Go for it. I still want to talk later. Give me a charisma check. These are my other dice. Where's my red dice for Kendra? I'll use that one. I'm not using those again. Um, charisma. There's no proficiency. 14. I don't. Again, she goes for Booming Blade. Maybe. Makes her attack roll. Uh, that is going to be a 19 to, or no, 21 to hit. Okay. That hits, okay. So she has shield energy low. Uh, nine on the scimitar and six thunder. Okay. Now, uh, okay. So that thunder just... is enough to oh. just blast out his temporary hit points. And you fall. God, not a single hit again. <laughs> you got one hit on her. She took Did some I? damage. Really good. Better than our true. Fair enough. You fall. Uh, she just starts to walk away from you. Um, and starts actually walking towards her room. Arjuril will come over and... Uh, Throw the dying? It wasn't lethal. But... <laughs> um, I don't know. You've always said spells in the past have been lethal. It's a so. melee, though. Melee is the ones that That's you can fair, choose fair, to yeah. make it not. So. That's fair. I wasn't sure how spells in melee still work.
Yeah, no, it's melee will work for that. Oh god, okay. Unless it's way too strong, then you die. <laughs> I mean, knowing that, still a possibility. That'd be a lot of damage, but yeah. But she will walk away back to her room. She looks very upset as she, like, is passing by Winnie and Eleonora, who are watching, <laughs> kind of. But uh, Ardra will come over to you and um, kind of slowly move you over towards like a more shaded area on your own porch <laughs> section. Why don't I just imagine him just kicking him and rolling him? Just move him <laughs> out from the training area. He'll come up later. We need this space for serious, yeah, <laughs> serious training. So. Yeah. Hey, Mark, I would probably like start like sort of move over to our room just like just to if she's okay you know i'm not gonna like go talk to her but mm -hmm. like i go to my room you okay. know what i mean like just to yeah. keep an ear out okay you can get a perception roll sure oh i got it nat 20. wow um that must be i don't nice. think that'll matter <laughs> but a 22 i mean yeah 21 sorry 21 okay Mm -hmm. Uh, the door didn't get closed all the way and you can hear kind of like almost what sounds like packing happening like things being stuffed into a bag I was worried about that um yeah uh I will go over to the door Okay. Yeah, she's in the room, like, stuffing things in. Like, grabbing stuff and stuffing them in. Like, knock on the side. She turns to you. What do you want? You're leaving. Yeah. Clearly, I've done enough training. Time to get back into it, I think. We are going to leave in a couple of days, if... You feel like it's awkward. Doesn't matter. I got things to do. What what changed, Kendra? Can I ask you that? You were worried, and then the contact with the eye seemed to do it. It was more even an accident than anything else. I don't... I don't understand. Whoever Akarol is, he's a danger for this world. I will not allow him to return. Did you talk to Davril? I told him to not go after it. He didn't want to agree to it. What did, what did he say? That he couldn't do it. He wouldn't provide a reason. He's power hungry. She's just like still stuffing stuff in her bag. Kendra, can maybe you you should under talk to him a bit more before you just leave. You. I don't know if leaving like this is going to be helpful. She kind of gets to that point where she's got almost her stuff packed up. I'm out of here. And she just starts walking towards the door. Kendra, why, why don't you want to talk to him? She's... Or understand his reasoning, or... 
find another way to convince him. I can help you. Don't need your help. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Are you going to move? Kendra, we're on the same side. Please talk to him. Before you leave, at least. She kind of like looks out the direction across the way where Dev is lying down on the... <laughs> <laughs> There's no hurry. At least not for the day. I need to go. I really do think you could go a long way in swaying him. With your words. I have things to take care of. Are you going to eat again? Are you staying here? Like here at the main screen? Yes. Good. I hope you enjoy your stay. Now move. She just like sighs and just says, remember, we are on the same side. Despite what you know or what you think about Davril, I think he'll do the right thing in the end. Well, when he comes to his senses, maybe then we'll talk. Sure. I just put a hand on her shoulder and I just say, be safe. She like almost recoils from your hand away from you. Do you move or do you stay in front of her? Um, does, can I roll insight really fast before I tell you that? Sure. Does it look like she's pissed at me, or does it look like she's just pissed in general? Roll insight. <laughs> you gotta roll okay. your dice first. <laughs> well, I've been waiting to roll persuade and stuff, and you haven't signaled me, so nope. I... Was this waiting. isn't a persuasion situation. Sure. Um, I'll use my bless, too. Okay. Um, so... 20. Yeah, she looks real mad. She was mad when you came into the room. Mm hmm So there's definitely that anger that's still there. And right now you're kind of blocking her away, so she doesn't seem to like you very much for that reason. Sure, so it's, it just seems like it's that, though. Not like there's more to it. Right now, yeah, it's, it's more like... The senses she doesn't want to do anything to you, but she will if you continue to be blocking her path type of a... Like, she's like, sure, trying that's to, like, fine. look intimidating almost, like, get out of my way type of a thing. Oh, sure. Well, the only thing I was checking for especially is, like, if she maybe overheard my talk with Davril, so she seemed, like, mad at me for influencing him or something. Like, that's kind of what I was looking for. Okay. But if it more seems like it's just the situation... She just looks really mad right now. That's about it. Okay. So I'll move. Like, I'm not trying to, like, fight her. I'm just trying to get her to see some reason. Okay. Kelly, you got a blessing. So yeah, when you move out of the way, she, like, storms past you and starts walking towards the entrance back towards the city. As she goes, um, she kind of says over to Ardril, thank you for the training and keeps going. Michael, who's really sadly on a branch that's over Dav while she's walking away. Yeah, does he see her leave? Is Dav? Yeah. No, Dav's unconscious. Oh, he's unconscious. Yeah, he got knocked out. Okay. 
When she said come to his senses, that's like <laughs> duality meaning there. <laughs> huh? Yeah, she just storms off away from that's the mainspring. Crazy. Not even waiting for him to wake up. Wow. Um, I will go over to Dav and use my healing hands. Okay. Uh, and I'll be like, Kendra is leaving right now. If you want to try to talk to her, I suggest you catch her immediately. You if you think it's female. better just to leave it, then just leave no, it. It's but... fine. Just grab your female because I'm probably going to get knocked out again. <laughs> And he'll get up and just yell out if he can catch up at all. Okay. So, with that, I think I'll we're just... going to go to our break <laughs> at this point. Uh, mm. Drama. My goodness. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to take a break here. Uh, as, um, yeah, Winnie, I think you're kind of in the vicinity watching. Euphemia's down by the water. I remember or you're going you're in the garden area gathering things gathering stuff or making a potion one of the two things i guess it would just depend and yeah dab's coming too <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see what happens after our break here as this has turned into a soap opera so <laughs> we'll be back shortly everybody <laughs> doesn't it always it always does always does your twin brother <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> stick around everybody we'll be back real soon
Alright, everybody, we're back as the drama is ramping up here. Uh, we have Dev was just knocked out by Kendra and um, Eleonora and, by himself. <laughs> and Eleonora <laughs> is attempted to try to get Kendra to stay. She seemed uninterested in that and huffed out of the going across the bridge back towards the main uh, land. Uh, Eleonora ended up waking Dab up with her healing hands and informing him of her departure. So that's where we're picking back up. Yeah, so I like as you're getting up, I'll just be like, I'll just say she's very angry. I might even let her go, honestly. She didn't seem in the mood to talk, but I figured I should tell you just in case. You thought there could be something to make us stay, but don't say anything foolish. Um, hesitate. Do not. Do not say anything foolish. Uh, be wise today. Talk after him. Gendra. Uh, I'm gonna like run after a bit. Okay. Can you at least see her? So she is down at the bottom of the, the rope bridge that kind of goes down from the center island. Uh, there is the roar of the water that makes it a little yeah. hard to project far enough to make I will it. dash, and if she's within 150, I'll send a message. Okay. So you dash onto yeah, the bridge good. to cast a message kick. I don't know how far this is. I, I, okay. just, I don't know how, yeah, how far I have to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... You. I'm just saying, I, just enough to get it within range if I need to. Okay. Uh, let me check for your mishap chance. No mishap. So you're kind of like at the top of the bridge, coming down, point down to her. What do you say, Indra? Just be safe. I'd like to talk before you leave in case we don't ever see each other ever again. She stops for a moment at the bottom. Doesn't turn back. And looks like she's thinking. Like slowly walk, but like if he turns, he'll stop. <laughs> kind of like, you know, not wanting to like scare a, a deer or something, but he'll like slowly kind of be walking towards her, and he's just kind of waiting to see her reaction and stuff. She turns around slowly and looks back, sees you on the bridge. Just kind of stands there looking up at you. Walk up towards her. Can we go somewhere that's not so roaring? She starts walking further closer towards the city. Following. But it grows quieter. Once you get back towards the mainland, a little bit closer to the city. It's really abandoned here. There's not really anybody around. It's like eyes swelling up. What? I just don't want you to leave us being mad at each other. I already lost you once, and I know you don't understand that. I don't want to lose you again. Why would you even think 
not working to seek anything from Akaroth. Because I don't know what it is. I'm still here to stop it if it's bad, though. You know what happened. I kind of like stop that train of thought because he realizes where it's going. Um, look, I know you did what you did because you guys believe in us. And I believe in you. I trust in you. And so if that's the case, then we need to know how to take them out and stop them. But if it's not bad, or there's parts of it that I can utilize against them, or to take down things that are worse than this, is it not at least worth looking into? I promise I won't risk it. I will never do any of this for trading in those people that I believe in. We cannot give an inch in this. Because you don't know what point is going to be beyond the point of being able to come back from it. You pursue anything. That could be the undoing of everything. I know you've committed a lot to this. I'm not going to compromise on this. I'm not saying I'm for it or against it right now. I'm more against letting him free blindly. But I'm also not going to just shut a door on one that's just opened without at least knowing what's behind it. But I do care about you enough. I promise I won't blindly look into it. I've Would you choose me over this if it came to it? Or is this that important to you? This is more important. I'm not letting this world be destroyed. What if it's here to save it? Because this world is being destroyed. I'm not going to contribute to it. You don't have to leave, by the way. You can continue doing your training. We'll leave. No. I'll tell them we're ready to go to Heaven's Reach. I'm leaving anyways. Do what you want. Please be safe out there, okay? This life is never safe. It can be we make it that way. That's the whole point of what I want to do. 
just make what you're doing safe. We take the hard path, so others don't have to. Here, Eleanor in his back of his mind. He also killed a lot of people. And he turned around and he'll start walking back. She didn't say anything back to you. Yeah, it takes a while to go back up to the middle <laughs> island. I would say Eleanor is probably up near the top of the bridge just to make sure nothing happens. <laughs> I don't care that they see her. There, yeah, I don't. I don't care. I'm not trying to be sneaky. I don't care. I just there's like that me. end point. The dev says something to her. You can't hear her anything, but like you see him mm -hmm. turn around, and she like just turns and just starts going at a fast pace away from Dev. Doesn't even look back. Dev slowly starts coming back. You probably have high enough insight perception that there's tears mixed with the water that's dripping from the <laughs> At least out of one eye. I just give you a little side hug. Now rub your shoulder. Much poorly. Yeah. She is who she is. So am I. Did it go poorly enough that she's going to tell Idgin not to trust you? Probably. Hopefully. Not, but... What, what did you tell her? When we meet up together, there's something I need to tell you and Winnie. I told Euphemia this morning. I'll recap what I said. Sure. It's the same thing I told Euphemia this morning. Right. Well, stroll around a bit. Unless you need me here, I can stay. Be wise in your emotions, and I like pat your shoulder a little bit. You see, there's a difference in his eyes. He's a lot more grounded than before. Maybe not in a happy way, but he's a lot more grounded than he was. Sure. So, she'll go. Yes, Amara, just his eye, not his eye. Singular eye, yes. <laughs> that broke me. Wait, what? I missed it. So, it, like, you see... <laughs> look at his eyes. You see, you see his, you know, the change in his eyes, and Amara's like, I. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, good correction. <laughs> this is why we need the chat around to correct yeah. things we, like that. Yeah, so, we need you guys. Uh, that's good. Oh, man. Alright. What do you do after that, Dav? So, does this place have anything like, so I know there's has a hot springs. Is there any place that's like really cool and like the, cold? The opposite side, yeah, it's just the chilled yeah. water. And like as you came down, like there's that chill in the air. So the opposite side of the hot springs is cold. Yeah, he'll go down there and plunge his body into frigid water. Heal. Yeah. Yeah. And he's kind of just. 
actually just replaying the conversation and Mike and we'll kind of come over and be in the area. I'll just sit there with him for a while. I think it'll be like a good hour before he ends up coming back up. All right. Kids away from that hot spring. Been like anyway. <laughs> All right. Um. Anybody else doing anything while this is going on? I assume I'm crafting since I decided yep. to spend my day crafting. You can do some potion making. Why don't you give me a herbalism kit check again for that? Ooh, that's really good, actually. 16 plus... Let's see. With proficiency, right? Yep, you have herbalism kit in your proficiencies, proficiency. right? So. Yeah. Yeah. 23. Very nice. So yeah, this potion's coming along real nicely. Sweet. I'm working on a letter while I while I brew it as well. Okay. Sounds good. Um, what I've seen Kendra leave, or because I was basically I was kind of just watching a little bit, but like going about my stuff I was doing, but I've seen her leave or seen kind of the drama unfold oh, yeah. now. The drama all took place right okay. with the fight, so you you probably saw a lot of that. Okay, I think I would, because I didn't really know what was going on. I hadn't really like, tuned in or whatever. So like once Dav like and Eleanor are done talking, I probably go up to Eleanor and be like, "What? What happened? What's... I thought they were just training, weren't they? What happened?" It sounds like Dav will tell us all about it once he has oh. processed. But uh, the long and short of it is, Kendra is gone. Is that my fault? Did I do that? Oh, but uh, no, I, I mm. told her. But... Okay. No, it is not your fault. No. Okay. All right. Well, maybe maybe I shouldn't. I don't know if I'm going to mention to Dad specifically what I said. As much as I will, I'll give him oh, a general we, idea. But... Oh, my dear, I already gave the whole oh. rundown. He knows all of it. He oh. wasn't angry at you. Oh, okay. Well, he even okay. said he started to uh, broach the subject anyway. So. Okay. All right. It's well. not as done. Yeah. We'll do it if we can. Okay, well, I hope I didn't make her sad. I don't know. I, I didn't mean to say anything that would hurt her feelings. Oh, but... dear, it's Davril that made her sad, unfortunately. Um, well, but I think they both have some things they need to work through. So, mm. um, both are high emotions people. That tends okay. to bode poorly when there are differences in opinions so that's what this is yeah. i think the more knowledge both of them find and the more they cool down perhaps there can be some reconciliation someday okay um all right yeah i guess we'll wait and see what if he's gonna explain everything but yes apparently he has some things to tell us so you uh -oh. can wait what did what were you working on today uh, I fixed some things. Um, oh, yeah. Nice. Just like a hammer. I had a lot of fun. It's a good day. <laughs> she swings the hammer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, good work. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't either, but it just seemed like kind oh. of maybe some fun. So. Self taunt. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> good work. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, well, I'm. I'm gonna go distract myself with doing more stuff because I'm nervous about the talk with Dav, so. Oh, of course. It's all right. No one will be mad at you, I promise. I'm not even mad. I just, if, whenever someone says they have stuff to tell me and then I have to wait for someone to tell me something, I feel like I'm gonna uh, die if I don't hear it right now. So I have to go kind of oh. pretend I didn't hear what you said. So I'm gonna just come get me when you're sure. <laughs> ready. Yes, maybe take a few laps around some of the prettier parts of the. Oh, okay. I'll see if anything needs hammering over there. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> Alvar is just kind of like, like this, like interesting concept. Like she, like she doesn't relate to that at all. <laughs> and then she mm. Goes to go continue cleaning. Rolling up her sleeves running. and getting into, like, <laughs> yeah. it's not something she wants to do. Ellen Harris, the time should be like, oh well, I have time in two weeks on my schedule. If you could wait to then, nine o'clock in the morning would be perfect at my office. Thank you. Yes. 
thinks nothing of it again. She puts, yeah, she puts it out of her mind completely until it's time to think about it again. Must be nice. I wish, yeah, I, wish I could do that. <laughs> My Someone's like, I didn't mean to tell you. It's like, <laughs> I, let me literally just consume all of my thoughts with something else because I'm, I'm going to barf in the meantime. I just think about it too much. God, the oh memes you guys are making today are amazing. The memes are so <laughs> funny today. Oh my gosh. Mark, you have to go and look at them. I love Die, you. They're so good. They're so good. <laughs> I'm excited to go check them out later. <laughs> All right, so everyone's just kind of chilling for now. First, wait until Dav comes now at this point. Okay. So, afternoon kind of rolls around. Dav, you've thoroughly chilled yourself to almost hypothermia levels. Um, <laughs> uh, turning blue, I should probably get out of here. <clears throat> um, he'll return the books to the library. Um, and. Uh, just kind of grab a few more to bring back for the night. Um, kind of seeing the rest up there. I'm guessing it'll be whatever, like meal time or something like that. And just kind of nod over to Eleanor and be like, if you guys want to meet up. Sure. And he'll uh, make room in his, like, the area where he's staying at so they can have a little bit of privacy for now. Or you can meet where you see me as making a potion. Oh, that yeah. works too. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't I'm have to leave. Was, yeah. Just gonna say that, yeah. No, pick up everything you're working on and move it. <laughs> the entire table. <laughs> Trips. Oh no. <laughs> no. So yeah, I'll gather everybody to where Euphemia is. It is a fun day. I'm gonna look up at Dav and I'll just drop some sparkles, the healing on him. Thank uh, you. I'll just like glance up. I don't even say anything. They just go shoop right at you. Um, for nine plus three temp. Cool. Oh yeah, just for the sake of arcane recovery, can I say that cold spring was short rest? Yeah. Cool. Hi, okay, one spell thought there. Just in case we get a deck. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so figured it'd be good to fill you guys in on what happened to me last night. Kind of relates to Kendra-ish. How looks over at you, female? She just nodded him. Like, she's listening. She's not going to say anything, but she's listening. Thank you all for everything. You guys have been the first people that, well, not fully judged me since we've all met and closed the door on me ever since I lost everything. And it's, well, that's separate. Last night, Eleanor, you, your words on the communication got to me and how little we do know. So, not trying to get into the stone, but I did send out a little thought of asking for more information and more communication. And I did get a response in form of a dream, which is kind of confusing to me. Last time I had a dream like this was the night I survived and was visited by Domine. A very similar. North skies and Aurora Borealis and cliff sides. But this time it was my mentor from our time in Icewall. One of the two that survived. 
she apparently was told by Akaral that I was alive. And they want me to go and help them to come home, supposedly. The worst part is, or whatever, apparently they are in contact with Akaral because he's got some sort of physical manifestation here. An aspect of him is what they called it. What does that mean? What could know. that mean, I guess? Like a, like a ghost or something? That's what it sounds like. A ghost or a piece of is him it, that can show up here. Is he like channeled into someone else's body or something? I don't wonder if whatever you saw maybe every time we utilize these stones it's a way to gather power for him to use I don't know it doesn't just grow I mean we know the stone is alive what well, affects me or somehow that speck manifested him potentially the timing is weird on that, anyway. Yeah, that's my running theory. I don't know if that's already had more, more specs, or if he's already manifested, or if the one that you saw is the one that started this. So hence, and this is not something I told Kendra. So you didn't tell her this? Not this part. Alright. But... I knew it'd run into her fears. I mean, she's right if she's right. She's gone. And she will not budge at all on this Aperol issue. This is more important to her than... Actually, it was quiet enough for her. Anything. Sure. Absolutely. Well, it was like her life's work, basically, right? Like, for... In terms of, like, a lot of years spent doing it. Um... Mark would have been what six years when she showed up, or was it a little more than that? For how long she was there? Yeah, she was there for two years prior, right? Let's Maybe see. Eight years Sorry, I really need to find uh, out here. So she showed up ninety one seventy nine, and then the whole situation went down in ninety one eighty four. So about five years. And then what is it now? 9190. About six years ago. So 10 years, okay. So yeah, I mean, she was sent there about 10 years ago. A long time. I'm sure you yeah. want to explore it makes her very scared. Or, you know. <laughs> if she... But it seems that she does. If she believes this will destroy everything, kill everyone, of course she's going to pick this over anything and anyone. I mean, of course she would draw lines. You have to. You have to. At a point. Prisoners. I'm just not ready to choose mine. Is your greatest fear then that we destroy something that could have helped? Is that what you're worried about? 
I don't under I, I don't I I admit I don't understand the stubbornness to to clinging to this. In some ways, like I, we talked last night, and I understand why you want to see the truth, but I, I also don't understand in some ways. And I, but I would like to. I knew. It's all my brother knew, it's all my mom knew, it's all my dad knew. So either we're wrong and my whole life false. And it could be. But if there's a chance that it's not, I want to know. Or she's right. So what if I have a way to prove that this is good or useful to save other people to save this place? Then maybe they didn't die for no reason. And if it's bad, And she was too weak to save them all. And she needs to do better, and I need to do better. So this doesn't happen again. Because no one deserves to lose their family like that. Not if they have a chance to stop it. Could have called Egden. They could have called the Watchlight. They could have warned anybody else it's just me there's a chance this thing can do good or I can make it do good I already have the stone and at least they didn't die for nothing And just looks down. You can tell, like, he wants to believe it, and he doesn't know if he does. I just kind of, like, half hug you, um, but I just say, I can't speak to your pain, and I think it's good you're talking about the grief. Not about the grief. It's sort about of is. blindly stopping something you don't understand. I'm just as fault as she is, and they are. I already told you, Femia, this. If we find out this thing's bad, I'm all about dismantling this and stopping it. I don't care. I don't think we're did there. Did you tell? Yet. Did you tell Kendra that? She's not willing to take the chance. She's afraid if we even give it an inch, I can't stop it. I think that's also a fair concern. Which is, it is one of mine. So, that's where we're at. You guys can choose to leave me, like, or if you want. And I'll keep going this alone. Or if you want. I would like the help. And I am still here to help you with the curse, your brother, and anything you want to get forward in your life, Winnie. But this is who I am. This is who I've become. And I can't change who I am. I can only grow from it. And Kendra chose. And I'm not... I don't blame her. But... 
she can't choose me over this. And that's fine. Just like you couldn't choose her over this, honestly. You both are in the same position here. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. So I said I don't blame her. I don't even know if I need an answer, but um, I don't mind looking into this with you still. I just, I, I do want your continued word, continued word that you will continue to consult the group, listen to everyone's opinions. I know you will. You've done lovely, especially lately. But I think going it alone is probably going to be the foolish path. Because we will be able to pick up on things that you might not be able to, and the other way around as well. I, I want you all here. That's your choice. Because I do want to look into this, and I'm not ready to give up on it. If all of us have a feeling that this is too much, will you stop? That is my one question. Would be my question as well. I think we have to have trust on all ends. If we're trusting you to stop, then you have to trust us too. So the feeling, I think it has to work both ways. Yeah. Yes? That's what I was hoping Kendra would offer as well. I think, like you, she is too close to it. Yeah. I think if... I could be wrong. Just like I want this to be... true. It is, it means that she did something. So I get it. I don't blame her. Sort of sounds like you blame her for the deaths, though, the way you're talking. So, which is it? You blame her or you don't? Don't blame her for believing what she believes. And I can't forget what she did. I have forgiven her. I've been willing to move on. But it still happened, and it changed me. That's life. I can't go back to the dab I was before. Makes sense. Well... That is um, Idgin to think about. Um, I figured I might send him a message and reassure him that we are keeping an eye on you. Do you think that will suffice? I mean, he I... was the one that saw me first hear something. He didn't seem angry then. He seemed worried, but... Sure. I would hope he wouldn't be as emotionally tied to this. But yeah, I think he should know. So if we ever get to Yellowfield, we can even talk to him. I don't want him as an enemy, though. I mean, we are allies. I had hoped to remind Kendra of that, but she's, um, excuse the pun, a bit hot-headed and did not seem to want to listen too much at the moment. So. Yeah. I might not have helped that. So, I will talk to him. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But 
I I think as long as that is a common established trust, then we will trust you to stop and you will trust us to tell you when to stop or to listen or whatever it is that needs to be done. But I think all of our perspectives will offer something to hopefully help us discern. Because I know you want to find out the truth, but the truth can come in many forms as well, and so can lies. So we need to figure out if this communication that has been opened up is a lie or if it is the truth. I agree. I... Especially thinking if it is like, a, if it is bad, I don't know. It's like, can they see us? Watch us now? I don't know. It, can that they watch what we're doing? To me. Can they hear us? Well, I, is it the eye? I, I don't know. It's just, it's weird. You requested information or communication and the dream happened that night. That is interesting to me. And a bit alarming. Yeah. Was some sort of deity and I raid them. It could have hurt. Oh, it could have been the eye too, Winnie. That's a good point. Yeah. I just thought if, if something like if it's something where not I don't know exactly how it would work, but if it was something where when you connected with it by accident that one time, because the magic was so strong, it almost like made a sort of like you know, like a view into what I don't know, maybe like turned it on or something like that. Like a you know, sitting dormant. I don't know. That's just a thought that it might be something that could be used for spying on us. I just want to put that into a I don't know. I mean anybody can spy us on us at any time. But yeah. I know, it's but just being an added way to do it and get it. Right. Yeah. Uh, or a way that would happen all the time, not like if a they did a spell or something. So. Sure. Again, don't know if that's the case, but just I think we need to Make sure we're careful with what we do and say and all that stuff. I will ask my friend if he has any opinions on even how maybe it could have been done. <laughs> there might be some spells at work here or different things that we don't know about. I'm not sure. He did mention, I asked him a few things about Acheroll, but he said, unfortunately, he doesn't have enough connections to dig too much more into this. Um, although he said he'd keep looking, but. Well, something I was thinking about during the library while we were doing that. If Akral was connected to ancient magic, kind of like all the stuff we've been trying to look up, it does seem to be that there are some gods that are as primal and been around with ancient magic, then gotta be somewhere, right. somewhere somewhere out there that has more information on Akron. Unless Perhaps. Let's see what by a different name or something. Like That's what I was thinking, yeah. Yeah. Or like, the information was erased. Wiped from the Yeah. <laughs> For a reason. Yeah. Well, or just tell us more things time. than anything. But even the reason could be there's not, the reason would have if someone purposely wiped it, it would just mean someone had an agenda. It wouldn't mean necessarily it was good or bad, I guess. So yeah. maybe someone didn't want to bring yeah. him back for because he was very, very evil, or because they locked him away for some sort of like personal thing. And I don't know. Yeah. Lots of things to think about. <laughs> I guess. I mean, am I wrong? Is this are unknown questions enough to just give this up? And walk away from it. I mean, I already have the stone. I already have years of study on it. I think we don't know enough about it to know if it's good I would or not. Agree. That's not what I'm asking. So. What I'm saying is, because we don't have enough, is it enough to just say, well, it's too dangerous, let's just walk away and dismantle them and not even learn how any of this works. Like, am I being foolish for thinking that? I think you just need to be careful to not want it to be a good answer so much, if that makes sense. 
I wor I don't think it's foolish now, but I worry there may be foolishness that you want it to be a good answer so badly that you'll cling to put up a proof. That's or why make it a good here. answer when it's not like you know, right. don't notice the bad things happening. But I don't think having Especially, questions is bad. I think that it's I think that our there's a lot of things surrounding us that don't make a lot of sense or we don't know a lot about, and so I don't think that's bad to wonder. Thank you, Winnie. I also think engaging when we don't know what things are. So that's why we should find new avenues to look into things before. Um, I don't know what that means. Maybe it does mean going to your people. I don't know. That's probably something you need to think about. I did. Also, oh, sorry. I was just going to ask, um, not like, I don't know if this really matters, but like, what kind of what, like feeling did you ha have like when she was talking to you and she was saying these things? Like, did you have like a kind of, you know, that like itching sensation of like someone being kind of like weird or some, some sort of thing that's not quite right? Did you have that feeling? Did you feel like happy to see it? Like, how did you feel? I think that says something too, to be honest. Oh, oh your, your mentor? Uh, mentor. Like, yeah. Yeah, 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 sorry. I, will, I was oh, I'm sorry. you were talking about Kendra. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I meant in the, I'm sorry, I meant in the dream. Like, how did you we feel? I had a when... lot of feelings, but... Um... Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. I meant... Sorry, 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 I didn't clarify. I meant, like, the, the whatever her... I'm sorry, I forgot her name. Um, I, uh, I don't remember, That's but right. yeah, your old mentor. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I forgot. I wrote it down, and then I uh, can't read my own handwriting, so... That's my fault. Oh, um, that, what is it? Azarenzi, right? No. Arizini. <laughs> Arizini. Yeah, you read that again. Arizini. Okay. A-R-A-Z-Y-N-I. Arizini. I just kept thinking... Phonetically. <laughs> I got, you know me too, I kept thinking Pizzarini. <laughs> <laughs> Arizini's pizza. Oh, Come on down. Pizza Italian. Pizzarini. Yeah. Just off a bit. She's actually good. Yeah. She like, has a pizza shop. She's, she's passionate her about her business. And, like, Seriously, how can you be a villain when you make pizza, pizza yeah. not good? I mean, every Sunday we shut down. It was so good. <laughs> she's like, he has a physical manifestation. You come to the, the restaurant, he's like the chef, and he's like, has like, my, yeah, that's his physical mist. It's a big it's like, pepperoni. Oh. Anyway. Hey, you. Um, yes. It's an hey, you. Well, I actually think Azarini really believes in this. She was like a second mom to me for a while. But like, how did you feel when, like, when you were talking to her? Like, what were the, like, because you know, sometimes when you th talk to things, you hear information. There's like a, I don't know. Sometimes I get like a fe a really big feeling about things, where it's almost like something's wrong, or like you can feel someone's like not being totally honest with you, or or maybe you felt really good and peaceful. How did you feel? <laughs> In the dream. I leans in a little bit, Winnie. I don't, I don't know if you've ever noticed this. I'm a really, oh. really bad judge of character. Oh, I got I'm nodding in the background. Literally <laughs> and figuratively. Well, that's what, I guess we're not judging. More like just uh, getting in tune with your intuition, I guess. That's what I mean. I've been trying to do that recently. It's usually Kevin. wrong, but. <laughs> yeah. No, in this instance, this is kind of what I was going to say earlier was. I made sure to sound excited enough, and I mean, I guess it's true enough that it's him <clears throat> 50, but I'm more interested to know what's going on if I need to know to stop them. But I did kind of make it sound like, oh, great, you're alive. Be more than happy yeah. to come find out, you know, that kind of thing. So I don't know if she believes me, but I personally think she just believes in it, but I mean, I guess there could be an aspect of her that I wonder is are they under some sort of suggestion or control? Yeah, I was gonna say, I think her believing it doesn't necessarily mean because also even just brain, regular brainwashing can also do that, oh. where if you really or even even the idea of like, you know, even the idea of like, kind of what, like, if you give a lot of time to something or something, you lost a lot of things for a cause, I think it would be really, really hard to turn back on that. And so even if she was still alive, I'm sure it'd still be her cause. So like, she could really believe it because it's too hard not to believe it, well, you know what I mean? Look at Shadow Rock. Yeah. 
I mean, before it was destroyed. I mean, we had everyone believing the cause of everything there. And that might have been magical suggestion, but it has spread, the reputation spread even out to where magical things couldn't be reached. People believe what they hear, they believe what they want to believe. Who knows who, what falsehoods or truths could have been uttered and passed down like it was the law there. I mean, you don't know. You were a child. On top of that, if they do truly believe in this, Egden and Kendra made martyrs of the whole town. It gives them just as much reason to want to do this in their memory. If they truly believe what they're doing is good. And they might even believe what they're doing is good, but Akra may have misled yeah. them. I mean, there are yeah. so yeah. many possibilities of how this could be. Yep. So, there's a lot to unravel. <laughs> yeah. Sorry for making this messy, guys. You didn't well, yet. We haven't stepped into it quite yet. But we probably will. Um, there's other things we have as well that are very much on our tail. So I'm not sure what order to do most of this in. Um, I... Go ahead. I was just going to say I... I promise to you all that I won't blindly follow this. But I want you to understand why I felt the need to get stronger too. I mean, I literally saw my brother taken out in front of me and one hit I was taken out, but I died. And then how many times now have I mean, I destroyed by Ardril and Kindra how many fights have I gone down and almost died? I'm not strong. So, in some ways, I'm. I think I'm more afraid of death than I want to admit. So, I promise I won't let that get in the way. You truly, because I will hold you to that. You guys have changed my path. I probably would have already burned up by a mishap by now. Probably. If you don't feel strong, maybe you should focus on being smart. Wise. <laughs> Good. I all... think, honestly, I think that with all of this... Sorry, there's some kids like yelling outside. So I don't know if you hear them. I don't oh, hear them. Um... Right okay, good, because they're like... They're playing, it's funny. Um... I think even if we were really, really strong, I think we have to be wise and smart about like strategy for this anyway i don't know if us having just pure power and strength would be enough to even like figure this thing out anyway so exactly not with how bizarre our situation is in general no uh, yeah 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 i just want to stop this from happening more and more Um, do you have anything else to say, Davro? Because I have a topic to bring up as well. I'm good. Um, I've been thinking a bit about Julian and Heaven's Reach. I worry a bit because Heidi's plan is to transport Julian 
um, to a friend in Heaven's Reach, I think, to watch out for him. But Heaven's Reach has a giant mishap crack through it that I don't know will happen. Uh, we have assassins running around probably looking for me. Um, I don't know what else is going on there, but I would imagine that if Wood has even gotten out about that I was at Shadow Rock, it would get ugly, and I worry about Trillian being there. However, what about here? Oh, it is very, very nice here. He does. Yes. And didn't didn't not uh, didn't he didn't he say that we need new people like to carry things on? Right? Oh, well, that would be for training, yes. I mean, I don't know if that's Julian's style. Uh, he's a child, but, but was. Um, he might like it. I don't know. He might like the <laughs> library regardless. Um, <laughs> I would rather him not fight anything, but... Um, true it, oh, maybe. I, uh, that aside... Um, <laughs> that aside, uh, Ardra seems kind. This place seems safe. Um, a camel could run around here, because apparently <gasps> um, the camel is still with him. Oh. Uh, oh. I don't think it could live Wait, in a that... city. That is that normal? Be hard for her. Vanetta? Well, well, wasn't she like his like magical like familiar, right? It's, it's something a bit different. Magical. Yes. Because if he dies, because in theory there's two Venettas too, if he dies, then like, how is she still around? Is that strange? Um, I am not quite sure how it works, but I think it will live on until something makes it not. Okay. Is what it seems. I, should, I don't know. Is that the same thing that Dad's familiar? Mark, like, I believe it works the same it. way. I have to look at the okay. spell, but I think, yeah, it's around until it's killed, essentially. I just want to make yeah. sure Dav understands that before you. So, like, from okay. what I, I, just, I didn't know. read as well, if something happened to me as well, okay. Michael would stay around. We're oh, not, okay. Not yes. a concentration. Okay. No I didn't know if it was something where once the, once it was, once the person who, like, you know, was responsible for it died, then that was... Yeah. I'm glad she's still alive. I didn't want her to die. I, I'm glad she's around, and I'm sure she'd like it out here. Maybe. Um, I, she might need the desert, though, right? Or maybe she's okay. I don't know. Um, I, all okay. I know is that she's currently in Heaven's Reach right now, and apparently was very protective of Julian. Um, so I assume yeah, that nice. Julian likes him or her quite a lot. Um, I'd hate to say everything. stands out in Heaven's Reach as well. Uh, yes, and if... Worse. I think they would be forced apart if we had him hide with whoever. Um, he also has anti-scry now, so oh. if we take him quickly, uh, perhaps he could stay. Um, my, I don't know what Arjun will think of this. I wanted to run it by you first, but my thought would be if he comes with us and then we can just all come back here drop Julian off, and then if we want to pursue anything in this area, we can. I was worried about... I was worried a bit about disappearing through the crack anyway in Heaven's Reach, because we don't know if it makes it bigger. But if we head over to Yellowfield, we could even talk to Idgin. It's smaller, it's remote. So perhaps we could get into the crack that way. Unless it's being swarmed by magical studies, but I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah. How do we think we're getting Julian back here once we get to Heaven's Reach? Well, that's, I, I, if we asked Arjul, perhaps he would come with us and then teleport uh, back. You would teleport him? He would teleport Julian. himself. Oh, yes. Julian. Well, I think he uses a different, a different magic. Circle. Then Edison's teleportation. It's a circle. Okay. 
that's still risky with our mishaps. We can talk to him about it. I mean, I, there's there's a risk either way. I just wanted to be. I thought like you were I did think about that. Yes. Yeah. Um, just want to point out a very probably not an issue, worst case scenario, but if you do bring Julian here and something happens where Kendra does become an enemy, she knows this place, which I don't think that'll be the case, but... She, she wants to Julian, attack Audrey. Though. She does yeah. not know Julian right. at all. If I did not mention She comes it. back here and uses him against you. I am much more concerned about other people using Julian against me than she. Get out there. Plus, uh, she's friends with Audril. I mean... I'm just putting it out there. Sure. Not saying it's a high risk or high concern, but it is just one to keep in mind. Sure. I do think I do think here versus Heaven's Reach is a much better choice. I, I would if he agrees, I don't want to impose on him, but if it's possible. I feel this place would be better for Julian mentally, too. Um I it's nice here. And very far away from the desert, the opposite. If we continue to make potions for him while Davril is training and things like that, perhaps that would help persuade him. If you don't mind, I don't know. I, I, it's asking a favor of him, as always. Whatever I can do to sway it, I, or to, to make up for the inconvenience of what we're asking. I'm happy to do it. And I can help however you need me to, also. Um, but thank you. Um, so I may, I may talk to him soon to let him think of it, about it, and perhaps we can too. It, worst case scenario, if he says no, we'll stick with plan A and just bring him to Heidi and decide after we have more information where else he could go yes I think that sounds good is everyone in agreement does that sound all right it would bring us back here um not to heaven's reach like we thought but I mean we could even go after the dragon egg if we feel like that would be something That's true. that we could do Yeah, I think it's fine. I mean, there's options. Vinny, how is your research going? Did you need any help with that? Um, it's it's going fine, I think. Um, I have that book that you found. I didn't end up reading it yesterday. I was uh, starting with sort of the basics and working my way up to something more, you know. But I, I purposely tried to do my work early today, so that way uh, I could, you know, read as much as I possibly could tonight, so... Thank you for finding that, by the way. Yeah. I'm still going through a few of the ones and re-threading them, so if you need me to look for anything more, let me know. Do you think they'd have anything on Akral and stuff here? Or, like, ancient gods or something here? Yeah, I can try, but I doubt it. I doubt it, too, but might as well look if we have a chance. That's a good point. I think I tried looking a little bit, but I was more distracted about organizing. It's kind, of, it's kind of the job you were tasked with, so I think it's okay. Alright. Back to work, then, Anna? Yes. Well, you all are lovely. We all tried our best today. I hope you're alright, Davril. Let us know if you needed anything. Never been better. 
Oh, well, you don't have to lie. <laughs> Get up and pat his shoulder. Uh, I think I dislocated it. <laughs> um, I, he'll get it. Oh, God. oh, I was just going to say, when I'm done here, I, I did want to drop a letter in town, so I don't know if anybody else needs a walk or... Do you father? Do you need anything else? Yeah. I was wondering if you would. I'm glad you are. Yeah. I did the same. So I don't need to enter right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, I can accompany accompany you. I just need to talk to Ardril, but I'm sure that timing will sure. work out with your Yeah. I'll passion. wrap this so up and then we can Come go. find me and I'll, I'll walk with you. Okay. All right. You guys That's separated? Yeah. 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 As we are, real quick, just kind of you grabbing Eleanor as like we're kind of departing. I just want to. I, I think it's a good idea, but just want to make sure you have it in your mind. I mean, if Igden and Kendra ever get a feeling that me or we need to be stopped for whatever reason, they did decide that a whole town was worth it to stop what they needed to stop. It's the only reason I just bring that up. But I do think this is the safest place for them. And I do think I... that they didn't, not to be like ca like callous or anything, but like um, in that scenario, the whole town, was the town like all acro worshippers or were they just random people too? No, we're all acro people. So I, well, it was I, I feel like it's an accident thing. as well in a lot of ways. Yeah. It wasn't purposeful. It was an accident. That's what she said. Yeah. So it, it was it was it was a situation that spun out of her control and she couldn't do anything about it. That's Regardless, very different. It was still a choice. The mission is more important. Whether it spun out of control on purpose or not. Just putting that out there. It seems very similar to the situation of we go to Heaven's Reach, things are out of our control. For sure. A town dies. It is the exact same thing. So something to think about. We think Yes, about that's it. why I blame myself fully for that. Yes. Yes. So that's why we react differently when we go to places. I get it. Yes. So, but yes, I thank you for the warning. I understand. Um I'm hoping we can keep them on our side and that won't be a problem. At this point, anywhere he goes is dangerous and could kill him. It's just a gamble on what is the safest. Yeah, and right I'm now this seems this. the safest. It's is a good warning. Yeah. It is. I think as much as I wanted to hope Kendra was fully on my side, I know that if she feels she needs to stop me, she will. So. I'd hope all of us are sort of on that. If any of us cross a line, maybe we should stop the other. That's Especially funny. when, again, but... it could be like magic, like, again, suggestion or things like that going on, too. I think, you know, yeah. even for us, I don't know. You never know. But I mean, it could just be a disagreement on opinion. It's no different than that exterminator cleric, you know, she feels like you've gone too far and it's coming after you. I think that's crossing the line, too. Right. Yes. Anyways, we can go in circles yes. on this. Lovely lines. Yes, yes, yes. All right. That's well, all thank you. Yes, I appreciate the thought. Well, all right. So you all kind of head around to your various Workings or Euphemia's days where you are continuing to craft. Um, so the afternoon drags on. I go find Ardrill, but... Okay, perfect. So Ardrill, he is kind of sitting and looks like he is in a meditative state, but he does seem aware enough that you approach and uh, opens his eyes and looks to you and... Can I help you with something? Am I disturbing you? I can come back. Absolutely not. You may speak to me. Does he like get up from his pose? I guess he yeah, like, he, like still... kind of like sits down, like 
unfolds his legs from his meditative stance and kind of leans forward to listen to you. Um, Adril, I very much appreciate the teaching that you've been doing for Davril and this place in general. It has been very good for all of us. We have been through a lot and the rest has done us very good. So thank you for offering that sanctuary. Of course, despite a bit of a storm this afternoon. I am also sorry about that. I hope that was not something that has displeased you greatly. Um, they have a bit of a past. Well, do you have a request of me? Uh, yes. Um, if it is overstepping, you can simply say no. It's a bit of a big one, but I... I'm a bit desperate. Um, I have a son. Uh, he is 11. And um, recently uh, we were separated and I was able to finally get him out of a very dangerous situation. The same situation that I told you about a bit earlier that has assassins coming after me and various amounts of uh, difficulties. Um, I cannot keep him with me because of this, as it would only endanger his life or he would be taken back to his home or what's left of it. Um, I'm looking for a place to keep him safe, away from prying eyes or anyone that might harm him. And he is a boy who has already lost a father, has barely seen his mother in years, and has lost his home. And this place, I felt, might do him good. But it is a responsibility. It's a mouth to feed, I understand. Um, he's in heaven's reach now. That's why I wanted to go there. Um, Euphemia agreed to make as many potions as she can while she's here. Um, I don't know how to offset a burden like that. Um, he's a brilliant boy. I'm sure eager to learn any lesson you'd want to teach him. How old is the boy? He's 11. Able to do some chores. From what I remember, he listens well. It, like I said, it's been some time. He might have developed a bit of a streak, but I'm sure I can tell him to listen to you very well. He's a good son. It is very interesting how. Years ago, there was a request to take in Kendra after she was 14. She came to me. She leaves. You come and ask me to do the same for your boy. That is interesting. I did not realize she came to you so young. Of course, I would be willing to watch over the child. It would be expected to help out. Sounds like that would not be an issue. You may need to teach him a fair amount. He is used to studies and not much manual labor, but he's also bright. So I think he will keep up quickly. So you need me to go with you? That is what I would think, yes. Um, I would worry about t 
taking him on a journey journey with us. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but we have a lot more mishaps than other people, and I worry that would hurt him in the long run. Yes, I've seen that with your friend in many of his fights. Yes. If you need to limit him on spells, it might be wise. How long do you plan to stay here? Well, we've been here two days. This is the second full day, yeah. Okay, yeah. What did we say? Um, I think we said a week total. Is Did that seem enough to teach Dab at least some of the basics to move forward? That would be... building blocks for him to work with so I can ask the group for a confirmation but a few more days perhaps then Oops. when would you like to go retrieve your boy Well, I guess I should ask you first. The way your spell works, do you have to go to a specific location? I do. Is it a designated... All right. It would be another circle I would have to go to. I see. Where is that? So the one that I have is near the center of Heaven's Reach. Would I know if that is through the crack at all? Quite possibly. Oh, geez. Do you know where exactly it is? It is um, closer to the government side of things. Was that where the mishap crack was, Mark? So, um, let me look at the map real quick. So, the more government, like, where Stashram would be, is slightly to the right of the center, whereas the watchlight's more to the left of the center. So what does that mean? Does it seem so like it would be there? watchlight was hit on the left side. The right yeah. side, you don't really know, but you haven't heard that Stashram went down. So. Yeah. This is closer to where Stashram is. That's where he Oh, okay. So. All right. Um... Did you hear about the mishap cracks? I've heard. In the city. Um, they did run through the middle of the city. Um, either I can have someone check, or you might want to check if your circle is not in the middle of the mishap crack. Or would the spell just fail if, if it was if there is no circle, the spell should just fail. So it wouldn't be a danger of, like, you walking into a mishap crack. Should not be. All right. I may have someone check anyway. Um, I, I may check, just in case. These mishaps are strange. But, um... Uh, so, I would think near the end of the time where we need to leave would be when I need to get my son. I worry about spending too much time, unfortunately, um, due to the things that might affect him. So perhaps on the fifth or sixth day in that week, can spend a day with him. So, question for you. How much of this is you longing to see him versus, and like, longing to see him and just kind of saying, like, oh, I have to say this versus, like, I really do want to put this off? Like, where are you on the scale of 
It's probably like super conflicted because like she obviously wants to spend a week with him so bad, but like she also doesn't want to kill him by accident or like cause something bad. And so she's kind of like really torn. It's probably obvious as she's talking about it. Clearly want to see your boy. Why do we wait any longer? I don't want to kill him. Um, I worry. Been here two days. No one's died. No one has died. I also have enemies after me that might be able to detect where I go. So I worry if he has something that protects him from scrying, but I do not. Let's see. Well, I don't. I'm not sure what to do. I I have been guessing this whole time, um, and guessing has not led me to many good places. Um, If anybody is after you, you've been here two days. And I'm here. Are you all right with defending me? I didn't think I, I, I'm sorry if it brings trouble. This is not a place where people should come if they wish to harm other people. Training Mark is, is so one thing. Into this <laughs> oh, okay. Training is one thing. Actual harm is another. I will not stand for it. I do want to see him. I'll get my chalk. Oh, right now. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> she's like flustered. Like, uh, um, I need to even find out. I need to reach out to some contacts to find out where he actually is in the city. I still got to get my chalk. Oh, <laughs> um, starts yes. to get up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. He's so um, cool. <laughs> she what is this is this evening right now it's like afternoon it's afternoon yeah um yeah uh she looks flustered she picks up her skirt and like runs over to her uh to the room to her room you run your room okay yeah and i go right in my book um we might be able to meet up with lucy soon as in today or tomorrow where is she located with julian okay so um i think i already messaged heidi today too to check you did message heidi already so I, w I might wait a few minutes, and if I don't get a response, maybe I just, I'd even tell him, like, maybe we can go in the morning or something. Um, so it just depends on when I get a response, because it's not like we could go to Heaven's Reach and, you know, when I don't know where I'm going. So you wait a little bit. I'm going to roll, see if a response time on this. Oh, nice. About 10 minutes ago, but goes by. 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. 10 minutes That's on this so one. fast. Holy crap. I rolled. It was a skill of 1 to 20. 1 would be really delayed. 20 would be, like, really soon. I rolled a 19. So. <laughs> <laughs> Death comes through. Death is coming through for her on Julian at, like, every turn. This is yeah. great. Okay. So, um, yeah, it comes back pretty quickly. There's an address. Awesome. Um, is where does it seem like it is? 
Um, outskirts or close to the... Give me a... Intelligence roll. To see how well you can figure out where this would be. Oh no! I'm gonna use my advantage. Okay. Ugh, still a six. Okay. I don't know if I could use history because I have used that in the past to navigate the city. This isn't but... history though, this is more like knowing sections of a city type of a thing. Mm hmm. Like a, a street name kind of a thing. Sure. If there was like knowledge local like there was in Pathfinder or whatever, that would be something, but. <laughs> yeah. You're not from you're not from there, so I'm not gonna give you proficiency on it. Sure. So six, you're not really 100 percent sure, but you're assuming you could probably ask somebody, and hopefully they would point you in the right direction. Okay. Um. So I'll just uh, I'll go check in with the others and see if they seem like they want to go today or if they want to wait. Um, like till the next day, um, especially with Dav using his spells, because like there could be some grave robbers that come, like running around the city. You know, there's some of that as a possibility. I'm also what like midday mark. I probably still have a couple more hours. Yeah, you're still in the middle of your potion right now. Yeah. So, so if it's maybe it, we can say the next morning we'd go if Ardril's okay with yeah. that. I think that works. That would push you to go today. That's just tough. Or at night when her spell is finished. Mm -hmm. I mean her potion. When would she be done with her potion? You started earlier in the day. It's eight hours, so I don't know. At evening time, dinner time it should be good to go. I'd be so still like some daylight. Wanted. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. still daylight. Okay. Like right on the yep. cusp of dusk, there. The more time you get to spend with Julian, the better. Hopefully. Um, better with you than someone else. Come on, you deserve it. It's night nightmares. I haven't even had a nightmare recently. Um, no, should make sure you sleep. I don't know. Far away. It's always a risk. It it's always a risk, but it's been a while. Um, uh, if, if you're all sure, I don't know. I just, I, I, he, he was all ready to go. He's ready to take him in. I mean, it was very kind and, um, I just don't want to make the wrong decision. Um, yes. <laughs> as long as we're, I think as long as we could, you know, have enough, we're not completely spent, which I don't think we are, then I think it's fine. Right? Yeah, I got my yeah I'm good. I'm fine. Um, all right. This is probably the first time you've ever seen her kind of like almost like flighty, like unsure. Like she's just kind of like, ah! like she didn't think Ardra would say yes. Let's go right now. <laughs> so she's like, <laughs> didn't she kind of have this with like going to get Julian in the first place? Wasn't that kind of the yeah. like? So I feel like I, right, we, we've seen her do this like once before with this whole yeah. thing. So we're like, yeah, that's hey, very true. All right. Yeah, she's. Yeah, on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if everyone seems on board, um, I think uh, Eleonora will try and take some care into not looking so much like herself, though, um, okay. because of grave robbers running around the city potentially, and I don't even know who else might be looking for her. Um, so I don't know if I, like, I have, like, a hat or something where I can, like, put over, like, my head a little more and, like, put my hair back so the white streak isn't as visible. Um. Sure, you can try to disguise yourself. Just not look quite so. Um, Dab will rest up during while he's waiting for the potions, just to use some hit dice if I can. I mean, this whole day has been a short rest, so you can yeah. use it. I figured at some point, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> he's, at, he's at full. I used four. Nice. Okay. 
Hat, sunglasses, and a hoodie like in a Marvel movie. Yeah, exactly. Yep, if someone gets too close, I'll kiss someone. It's there you go. <laughs> Just like in Captain America 2. Yeah, I think about that moment a lot. It. <laughs> it's good. It's a fun time. All right. So you tell Ardrill evening you're going to go? Like once the potion's done? Yeah, if everyone seems actually okay with this and ready and ready for danger potentially. My middle name is Danger. Um, but I, I Danger Burza. Oh my. Um, I'm just joking. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, if, if that's what we want to do, I'll be ready. Um. Remember about casting spells around him. Um, and be on the lookout for anybody. I don't know what rumors are flying around there anymore. So we probably need to get in and get out as quick as we can. I don't know if lingering or being super obvious about who we are is wise until we know exactly what's going on there. That makes sense. So, our drill has this fancy chalk. Kind of look at it, it's got like bits of gemstones within it. It's really nice looking, like sparkles, it catches on the light. Can I see that real quick? That's really cool. Just holds it up. Wow. That's good chalk. So, he finds a location on the ground and pulls out a book that he has, a spell book, presumably, and he begins to draw the circle on the ground. Uh, takes him about a minute to do so, and as he gets near the end, are you all ready to go? Draws the last yes. few lines, and all the colors of the gems within the chalk begin to like ignite all throughout it as it completes it and it glows this kind of faint color let's go then we will step into the circle do you all step into the circle yes. step into the circle yep. yeah <laughs> yep and there's a rushing sensation as you are teleported away and we'll pick up with that in two weeks. <laughs> so we'll be back two weeks from today for our 64th session as the party enters Heaven's Reach. Seeing what this place looks like at this point, hopefully reuniting with Julian and actually being able to spend some real time with that boy. Oh, please. Seeing Lucy? catching up on other stuff who knows it's gonna be a session you don't want to miss uh so hopefully you can join us like two weeks from today for that and yeah so we're gonna end the recording here and then we're gonna go raid somebody so stick around for that so thank you so much for watching and joining us we appreciate you hope you have a good rest of your week or two weeks now and we love you guys bye <laughs>